the Cretaceous period would have been a frightening time to be alive. All around were some of the most impressive creatures ever to have lived on our planet, and one of the most famous dinosaurs lived during this era. Tyrannosaurus rex has been named the king of the Cretaceous, and for good reason. Aside from being one of the largest of the known carnivorous dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex is the dinosaur that has received the most media exposure. The T-Rex had the strongest bite of any land animal, even harder than we previously thought. When computer simulations were used to simulate the T-Rex's bite, the results were quite surprising. The results were a maximum bite force of almost 13,000 pounds, around the equivalent of an adult's T-Rex's body weight chomping down on its prey. This means the Tyrannosaurus rex has earned the title of the hardest biting terrestrial animal ever known. This figure was two to three times greater than previous estimates, six to seven times greater than the bite force they calculated for the dinosaur Allosaurus, and around three and a half times greater than the hardest bite measured by an Australian saltwater crocodile. This giant predator lived during the Cretaceous period from 83 million to 66 million years ago. The Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that ever lived. It measured up to 43 feet long and weighed as much as 7 tons. When watching movies like Jurassic Park, one of the most iconic moments is when the T-Rex roars. However, researchers have been able to accurately recreate what they think a T-Rex would have sounded like, and they've said it wouldn't have let out a loud roar, but rather a low rumbling sound. In many people's opinion, this sound is much more haunting. The team behind the researchers said this giant predator would have had low vocalizations, something that would have been closer to modern day birds and reptiles. This ominous low rumble would have echoed through the Cretaceous, and the team have said it would have sounded similar to this. Many have agreed that hearing this in the dense forested regions of our planet millions of years ago would have been frightening. As mentioned, many people have said they think this sound is more intimidating than the roar. The low vocalizations would have been the last thing you heard before seeing the jaws of a Tyrannosaurus rex. While conducting this study, it gave the team an insight into how this dinosaur became one of the greatest hunters our planet has seen. In the movies, the dinosaur is sometimes depicted as being quite primitive, and lacking features that actually turned out to be some of its best. It turns out the Tyrannosaurus rex didn't only have great vision, but that it was most likely better than most animals today, and that includes creatures like eagles, hawks, and owls. Researchers have said it took millions of years for the Tyrannosaurus rex to become the creature we know today, and that nature provided it with some of the best senses and eyesight during its era and that it would have been able to see other creatures from very far away. It had great depth perception, and this along with its binocular range would have meant that nothing was escaping its view. This wide range of view would have meant the T-Rex was able to see an object in the distance, and be able to tell if it was an animal trying to camouflage itself or part of the Cretaceous vegetation. This means that creatures that were standing motionless were still being picked up by this predator, and no amount of standing still or trying to blend into the background would have helped it. Professor Kent Stevens at the University of Oregon was the man behind the tests, and he said that the T-Rex binocular range was 55 degrees. This means that it's wider than predatory birds like owls, eagles and hawks. Interestingly, another focus point of the Tyrannosaurus rex over the years has been its small arms. Although they are small compared to the rest of the dinosaur, they're not actually that small. And researchers have established that each one would have been very strong for its size. 
Some have even said the arms were useless and not needed, saying that the bite of this predator was so powerful they didn't need any extra help. Even though they were small, it still believed their arms were quite muscular and were able to bench press between 400 and 500 pounds each. The king of the dinosaurs needed thick neck muscles to hold up its large skull and power its forceful bite. The anatomy of the Tyrannosaurus rex was mostly muscle, and this meant it was able to become top of the food chain during its time. T-Rex's teeth are not blade-like when compared to other dinosaurs. Although they are sharp, they are more conical in shape, and this was because instead of gripping, their teeth would have been used to simply crush its prey. One way to tell a T-Rex's tooth from another theropod is by looking at the thickness. They have a deep oval, and this would be for withstanding all the pressure the skull put on them. We know that over the past 20 years, scientists have proved that some species of dinosaurs had feathers, but many have questioned what Tyrannosaurus rex had. We've discovered the relatives of Tyrannosaurus did have feathers. These were small ancestors of the T-Rex and would have roamed during the early Cretaceous period. Fossils of these relatives have shown stage 1 feathers. These are fine feathers as opposed to full feathers seen in modern day birds. It's thought that Tyrannosaurus rex did not have feathers, but rather was covered with small protruding like feather spines on the skull. One thing researchers have discovered is that T-Rex did leave behind scaly skin impressions. More research is happening as of right now to try and come to a conclusive answer. Another mystery was that did Tyrannosaurus rex always have teeth outside of its mouth or did it have limbs? This may sound like a strange question but it's a valid one. In most artistic drawings we see this predator has its teeth out. The current evidence suggests that if this dinosaur did not have a beak, then it would have had some kind of soft tissue covering its teeth. An abstract from the 2016's annual meeting of the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology states that evidence from the study of fossil tooth enamel also suggests the teeth were covered. One of the first people to bring this up was paleontologist Robert Rise. He suggested that theropod's teeth were not visible all the time. He states the teeth would have been hidden and covered by scaly limbs. It seems funny trying to imagine this because we're so used to seeing them with their teeth out, but these recent findings do point to them being hidden. As if this giant predator wasn't equipped enough, scientists have now said it's very likely that Tyrannosaurus rex had a septic bite. Over the years there has been heated debate about how T-Rex hunted. First it was thought this predator actively went after its prey, then paleontologists changed their mind and suggested that Tyrannosaurus rex was a scavenger. It turns out however that it most likely did both as teeth had been found embedded inside herbivores. T-Rex would have fed on the large herbivores of the Cretaceous. This would have included Triceratops. It's been theorized that Tyrannosaurus rex had a secret to taking down these large animals. Going after an 8-ton Triceratops would have been risky, even for T-Rex. These giant predators, although powerful, had to be careful of their prey's weapons. Triceratops had large horns and frills. If they were able to hit a T-Rex with these, it would do an incredible amount of damage. In 1992, William Ablier, a paleontologist who many studied the teeth of dinosaurs, suggested that the Tyrannosaurus rex had a septic bite which was used to help take down its prey. He went further to support this hypothesis by pointing out the serrations of the teeth's cutting edge are packed together. The serrations may have housed bits of carcass with bacteria which makes their bites deadly. All they had to do was bite their prey and wait for them to drop down from the infection. This giant would have had to have consumed over 500 kilograms of meat per day. Interestingly, it's been suggested that if prey didn't drop down from the initial bite and shock, it would have passed away from the infection. This actually made the life of Tyrannosaurus rex easy, as all it would have done is waited for the infection to kick in. This would only take a matter of days, and while this was happening, the T-Rex would have been tracking it the entire time. Once the prey was weak, the T-Rex would go in for the final blow.
So my question to you guys is what do you think is more frightening? Hearing a T-Rex roar or hearing these low vocalizations? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.